Alrighty, everybody, here we are. We have made it to another week of great sports action and stuff like that. Well, the sports that I'm going to cover anyway. Um, NBA Finals video will eventually come. Um, we're still trying to figure out some things over here on this end uh, because there's a lot of you know personal stuff going on at the moment that I cannot delve into currently. But as soon as everything gets, you know, under control, everything's going to be fine, you know, very, very soon, you know, next, well, this Friday, you all will be seeing a entirely different place, so we're, we're trying to get everything done with that, so that's going to be, you know, interesting to see how that goes, if that makes any sense. Well, that's neither here nor there, that will be coming on Friday, probably Friday night, maybe Saturday morning. It depends on how things work out this week. But this week, we got to go over some things in the indoor football, you know, stratosphere. Now, it's already, we, we, we finished the CIF season. We finished it. I've got in my notes here that the Salina, 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 Salina Liberty. Yes, I almost said Salina. I did say Selena, but the Salina Liberty will be hosting the Dodge City Law. And that will be on July the 10th, and that is for the, that's right, the 2021 CIF playoffs. And on the 9th, the day before, Yomaha Beef will be hosting the Sioux City Bandits. Um, Dodge City got a huge, huge win, you know. And Omaha lost to Sioux City. And thus, these, and thus those two teams are going to play again. Very defensive game in that. When I watched a little bit at the end of that. Very defensive game. That's the type of game you really want in the indoor game. What about the IFL? What about the IFL? Before we talk about the real big upset this week. What about the IFL? Well, the NAS Wranglers, they're not witless anymore. They're not. They have a win. Berlin Reed. Berlin Reed and company at they finally got one. Maybe Nez was the imposter of the true bad team this year is Tucson. Because Tucson is 1-4. Or I think they're 1-5. One, either one of those. It has been a rough season. They have been, they've gotten injuries. I don't know what in the world happened to E.J. Hiller. Um, things, things have been crazy out there for the Sugar Skulls. This team was expected to be a playoff team and now you know things are kinda looking kinda rough. And now this weekend is 4th of July weekend so you know the schedule gets very very interesting in the IFL. Things are starting to heat up you know. Arizona is coming in hot you know I thought that was going to be the best game of the weekend you know that game with Spokane but it turned out, you know, Spokane got a couple of injuries. Now, you know, McCollum's out. You know, Jolly, he, he kind of got roughed up on one play, too. I mean, the Rattlers, Drew Powell and company, they are doing work. They are doing work. And, I mean, the IFL's looking pretty good. Um, Frisco continues to give me a heart attack. I know somebody asked me in the comments, hey, are you going to go to the Frisco game on July the 4th? Probably not. I thought I would. It turns out, you know, again, I, I moved that that weekend, so I don't think I'll be able to go, you know, so it's rather unfortunate. I, I would have loved to see another indoor fan that watches my content on, you know, at the Comerica Center out there in Frisco, which is it's only about 14 or so minutes. That's a 14-minute drive from where I will be, so if that, that gets... That gets you interested, you know, where I will be. But we'll be well, I'll be back in the DFW area, you know. So there's that. Um, AAL, yeah, yeah. Bit of a surprise, I know, right? Bit of a surprise. The North Texas Bulls won the AAL championship. Charlotte, what happened? I did, I couldn't watch the game because I mean the YouTube feed was terrible and I, I I refuse to watch a game on Facebook I've said it many times you know watching games on Facebook is a travesty in and of itself 
there's no way you should be streaming games on Facebook. It doesn't matter what you are. It doesn't matter if you're the Conference USA or if you're an indoor football team. You should be streaming games on Facebook. Facebook is a terrible platform to be using to stream games. That's neither here nor there. But, again, North Texas, really, the, the Bulls surprised the Charlotte Thunder out in Charlotte. Very surprising result. And that leads to a big question. We know Charlotte is seemingly going to the NAL. We don't know how that's going to work out because the NAL has been kind of, you know, kind of picky. Very picky. Picky to the point where they've lost, you know, more teams than they have in the past two years. So, um, we're about the same amount. So, Charlotte, you know, coming into the NAL could be interesting. But where are the North Texas Bulls going to go? Could it be the CIF? Could it be? It's what some people have said. Some people have said the CIF. I think so as well. There's also the rumor of the San Antonio Gunslingers going to the CIF. That would be a nice little Texas thing, you know. Um, CIF is supposed to be doubling in size because there's supposed to be expansion out in Montana. But I think, you know, some Texas expansion could do them well too. That'll give, you know, a little bit more leeway for Amarillo in West Texas out there in Odessa. That could give them a little bit more leeway. But then they're going to need a little bit more money. I think those two teams will. And I don't know what the world. You know, there's another San Antonio team that we all know, the San Antonio Valor. Don't know what's going to happen to them because they are still a travel team. They're not a real team yet. They got to get. They, you have. You have the Valor name, but you don't have an arena. You don't have you don't have anything that can be considered, you know, top notch just yet. So I don't know how that's going. I don't know how the Lone Star series is going anyway. Have not paid any attention to it. But yeah, there we go. Biggest surprise this week in the NAL. Let's so get that glare off here. Biggest surprise in the NAL this week was the Albany Empire, Albany, Albany. Y'all are going to have to continue to correct me because I'll get it wrong each and every week. But the Empire fell to the Jacksonville Sharks. Very surprising. So we're talking Southwick, Danny Southwick. You know, man. He didn't look completely accurate. A lot of people said. I, I, I agree with him. Didn't look completely accurate, but when he threw that rock, he could sling that rock. He slung it. He slung it out there on Saturday night. Slung it out there to those Sharks receivers. I really thought that the Shark DBs really thought those defensive backs would get burnt out there by Prince and um, by by Prince especially, you know. And maybe and maybe um, you know, because I mean Grady was slinging it out there. Grady was slinging it easily the best game of the indoor slash arena season by far best game of the season it's a shame ref ball had to come up in there in that last minute i was trying i was trying up i was really not trying you know i was saying hey what is going on here what is going on i was trying to get people i was trying to see like what in the world was happening so i was confused because there was supposed to be a touchdown that wasn't a touchdown but yet it got called a touchdown anyway in the last minute of the game you know I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Ref ball is bad. It was bad in the Frisco Duke City game. I don't know how. Again, Frisco is giving me a heart attack each and every week. I don't know how we're still undefeated. Um, we're probably going to get some losses here soon. We're probably going to get some losses here soon. I, 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 uh, I'm a bit scared. I'm a bit scared of that. But yeah, I don't really have much else to say. I don't think there's really anything else really to talk about. I think I went over the um, the other, the even lower tier leagues last week as well. Um, so there's nothing really to cover there. It's just the main four. Well, maybe the AWFC too. I mean, but that's in a diff. But that's also in that lower tier league, like the top lower tier league. We're talking the AL. That's always interesting to cover because it's always a storm of you know weird stuff happening. But the CIF playoffs are in full swing. NAL season is in full swing. Finally, don't have to see the jersey, you know, 
the Jersey Mammoths, not the main Mammoths, the Jersey Mammoths, because they have the main end zones still. They had them, and we don't have to see that anymore. We don't have to see, you know, the 200 people that are inside the Jersey Arena anymore. You know, we don't have to see that anymore. Thank God. We don't have to see those terrible broadcasts either, because, because the audio, ooh, the audio, audio on those broadcasts were rough for Jersey, real rough. Ugh. That's the end here or there. That's gonna pretty much do it. Um, if something comes up later in the week, I'll probably talk about it. If not, oh well. You know, I'll make a point to talk about it for the next, you know, next this weekend in North Football Vid. And um, again, you know, things are getting interesting here. You know, in my personal neck of the woods. So you know. Keep a look out, keep an eye, and see that things you know, look kind of different. It won't be this room anymore soon, but it will be something completely different. And I just want to thank you all so much for supporting the channel. Big Boy Sports is signing off, and I'll see you again tomorrow to talk about the PLL. Well, in fact, it will be a video premiering tomorrow, but it'll be, it'll be, it'll be me you know, right after this video. So right after this video you'll get the PLL video and then that'll go up on Monday so yeah yeah y'all take care see ya soon